Hello, this is my guide to Rune Terror. I'm going to be covering some of the basics with the combat system, the mana system, and how uh, slow, fast, and bear spell works. Also, I'm going to be covering off a lot of the keywords that you see on minions and on spells. Uh, this is just going to be the basic stuff. Uh, if you enjoy this, I can go over the more intermediate ones, like how to use Rally correctly. And we can also look at uh, creating some constructed decks. Uh, so far, beginning in the game, I would highly recommend everyone if you just start an out to play Expedition and learn how some of the cards work that way. Uh, using this guide, hopefully it'll help you become a better player. At the beginning of each game is the Mulligan phase. You and your opponent will start with four cards each and you can individually swap these to care about better. And at the start of the first turn, you'll both draw an additional card. Those familiar with Hearthstone will be familiar with this mana system. Every turn, mana will increase by 1 until you reach to 10 mana. The difference with Rune Terror, if you have any unspent mana during that turn, it will spill over into what is called a spell reserve mana. This is a maximum of 3 mana in which you can spend on the next turn solely on spells. This mana cannot be used for minions, and if you are to use a spell, it will be used from the reserve mana first. This excess mana will not disappear until you actually use it. At the beginning of each turn, one player will be on attack and if one will be on defense. This is shown via the sword icon below your mana and above your opponent's mana. This also signifies who is first to make an action. During the start of each turn, a player can either cast a spell or play a unit onto the summoning bench. Once a minion has been summoned and it's your turn to attack, you can summon the minion onto the field. On turn one, my opponent had no playable one mana cards, so they passed their turn. Turn two, it's now my opponent's turn to initiate the attack and they have first action and play a card. The turn now flips to me and I'm able to play a minion or a spell. Action now flips back to my opponent and he's now able to play his minion onto the field to attack. Once the attack has been initiated, neither player is able to summon a minion from hand to the summoning bench. At this stage, the defending player can either block an attack with a unit that is on the summoning bench or play a fast or bear spell. There are three types of spells in Rune Terror, slow, fast and burst. Let's take a look at slow first. Once an attack has been initiated, slow spells can no longer be used. Slow spells can only be used outside of the battling phase. As an example, I play all my units on the table and then attempt to cast for Demosia, which is a slow spell, resulting in this message. In order for me to cast this slow spell, I need to remove my minions from the table and then first cast for Demosia. Slow spells can have a powerful effect and provide minion buffs, board clears, AoE, single target removal and summons. Your opponent can interact with these by either buffing their own minions up or actually countering and nullifying the spell. Also, a slow spell cannot interact with a fast or burst spell. A fast spell can be cast at any time, outside the combat phase or during the combat phase, but your opponent can still react to a fast spell. In this example, I'm forcing Garen to attack one of my opponent's minions, and my opponent reacts by giving the minion barrier, nullifying the effect of my fast spell. Lastly is the burst spell. A burst spell like the fast spell can be cast in and outside of combat, uh, but the effect resolves instantly so your opponent can't react to this type of spell. 
First spells can come in the form of small stat buffs, stat changes to minions, and also some conditional card draw. Now let's take a look at some minion keywords. First we'll look at tough. A unit with the keyword tough will take one less damage from all sources. This includes spells, skills, and blocking damage. Meaning this Vanguard Defender can block a fellow 2 attack unit and survive. A minion with the keyword support will buff an ally directly to its right during your attack phase. The support effects will not work during block. It'll only work during your attack phase. In this case, Herald of the Spring gives lifesteal to its right ally. A minion with the keyword challenger can force your opponent's minion to attack it. This can be used in a multitude of ways. To take a favorable trade, to stop an unfavorable trade, to push lethal, and to also just absorb damage and trigger some effects. It can also be used to take out a key target. Next are elusive units. These are similar to flight units in other games like Magic. Elusive units can only be blocked by other elusive units. However, elusive units are still susceptible to spells and can also be challenged by the challenger effect on your opponent's turn. Which means if you have an elusive unit, your opponent can pull that unit on their turn and kill it. Next is a very powerful mechanic called Quick Attack. A Quick Attack minion will strike its blocker before it has a chance to counter attack, which means if the Quick Attack unit has enough damage to kill that blocking unit, the blocking unit will deal no damage to the Quick Attack unit. Quick Attack units typically have low stats and could require additional support from spells to buff damage in order to reach the full potential. The quick attack mechanic will only work on your attacking turn, and will not work on a block turn. Overwhelm minions are an excellent way to prevent your opponent from using small blockers to prevent damage to the Nexus. If an Overwhelm minion kills a blocker, any excess damage is dealt to the Nexus. For example here, my opponent is blocking my 8-4 Overwhelm minion with a 1-1 spider, which means I'm going to be dealing 7 excess damage to the Nexus. This mechanic will only work on your attack turn. Fearsome is a simple but effective tool for fast decks to prevent blockers. A fearsome unit can only be blocked by another unit with three or more attack. Next is the Keyword Barrier. If you're familiar with Hearthstone's Divine Shield, this is the exact same thing, with one small difference. Barrier will only last for one turn, so in order to make the most of Barrier, you need to make sure you're protecting a minion that will definitely take damage. Lastly, to conclude the basic mechanics, let's look at Play and Last Breath. Play requires you to play the card from hand in order to gain its effect. This is different to summon, where summon minions only require you to pull them onto the bench. Last Breath is similar to Death Rattle, where the minion's effect will happen when it dies. Hello, I'm just going to go over a quick match with the AI, just to show you the board UI and give you a feel of how the, the game plays. Uh, it, the, the, the game has an auto pass feature, so if you don't have enough mana to complete a turn, it'll automatically pass for you. That's why it's speeding through very quickly there. Uh, this tool here also shows you what cards have been played on what round. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play our Elite here. Ready for deployment. Uh, both of these cards have Fearsome, which means my Elite cannot block because it needs to be free or more attack. I could actually give my Elite uh, 1 plus 1 this round and trade a minion, which is what we'll do. So this is a burst spell, can't be interacted with. And that means I can block uh, this particular unit for this turn. So my Elite won't die there because it takes one less damage from that source. And that, uh, that burst spell was only active for one turn. 
Alright, so here I'm gonna play the Laurent. Break their spirits and their soul. Which has challenge. And he'll probably stun that. Oh yeah, he will, yeah. Okay, okay. Stun is a feature I haven't covered yet, or it's a keyword I haven't covered yet, because I wanted to cover that with some of the champions. Uh, stun means I can no, no longer play that unit this turn. Imagine stun is like a uh, freeze, basically. The minion can't attack. So we do get a trade there on the 2 free. So our, uh, our tough unit there got a 2 for 1 overall, which is very good. Here, um, I'm on the defense. Uh, our opponent has three mana left. I'm on the, I've got four here. So I could um, play this. This is a when played card and it deals one damage to a unit, enemy unit. And this is the effect here, bullseye. And uh, we'll just pick one of these. There's a scent in the air. You can actually use this Oracle tool here and it'll actually show you how the turn will be carried out when these two spells go off. So this spell drains and summons a spider for one, and uh, yeah, my it's gonna hit here. Because that was a fast spell, it gave me a chance to interact with it, but um, I didn't have anything really to interact with. So I'm gonna block a spider here. And then now it's my attack, highlighted via the sword. Uh, this is a summon card. It grants all my units in the deck 1 plus 1 in stats. So the earlier we play that, the better. It's a very powerful uh, unit that. 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, and then all my uh, units in deck now are uh, plus 1 plus 1 stats. And I am on the attack. So I'm actually going to pull... Yeah, I'm actually going to pull the 2-2. Two, two. Today we fight as one! Just dispose of that. This card's great for just forcing uh, units out into it. It's got decent stats as well, it's a 2-4, so... Uh, oh, he's just gone straight in for the attack, so his hand's probably not great. Uh, I'm just gonna block this, because he's still got fearsome. And you can see how that will happen. I'll take one damage on this, and this will die. Going over some of the cards here, you can see when uh, when you cast a spell, grant the top ally in your deck plus one plus one. Um, you see most of these cards in the the guide today. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to play the overwhelming uh, alpha wild floor. Ah, there we go. Reduce my cost by one for each ally that dies this game. So he didn't. He wanted his unit to die, so he could play that out. I think here I'm happily. Uh, let's see. He's only got three cards left. So what you can do is you can go straight into the attack phase here, and it'll prevent your opponent from playing any additional minions on board. Uh, but what we're going to do is actually play. We're going to buff the. Yeah, we're going to bluff the uh, Alpha, because it's got Overwhelm. This will give it 2-2 two, two in stats. And I'll also play the uh, the Elite here, and I'll float one more mana. So I'm actually going to pull the 5-5 five, five into the Challenger. And then play this unit. And I'm not going to play... Actually... Tell a lie. I'm actually gonna pull. I'm actually gonna pull the free free into the challenger, and the reason is, if he does want to block uh, the five free, uh, it's a very good trade for me. Uh, he might run into the vanguard, um, and he probably would run into the vanguard. Actually, uh, all right, then. okay. I'll just do this, and I'll avoid playing this. Yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> it does It does pay off to have a little think about your turn. So you can see the overwhelm there. 
did additional damage to the Nexus because it overkilled that unit. And he has a couple of slow spells. Yep, if your ally died this round, summon two Spidlings, so he gets that off. Normally it'd give me a chance to interact with a slow spell, but or even a fast spell, but I had no MP left over and I had no spells in hand. So that's the reason for that. Uh, this is a when when summon card, so when this guy is summoned, a soldier is worth he gets a four Demacia card, which you've probably seen in the video too. And this is a slow spell, I'm just gonna... Mm, no, actually, we're not gonna cast it. It's not our turn to attack, there's no real need to cast that just yet. Let's just play our mighty Poro. And the uh, Seer. Uh, our opponent's not attacking. Doesn't want to attack there. So we'll play our for Demosia. And then you can you can cancel the spell if you want to by just dragging it back. Uh, once you're happy with it, you just press OK. Then it flips back to your opponent. He has no action. I wonder where his hand is. Can't be very good. And we're just going to launch. Ah, there's a stun. That's quite clever by the AI. He was waiting for me to go with my turn there. Alright, so I'm just going to force him into a, a defense here to try survive. And you can see... Oh, drain four from an allied unit. So there's a little bit of a heal there for him. Ah, and one thing to explain, if your opponent had a blocker here, he had a blocker here, and then he killed his own blocker off, uh, that still counts as being blocked. Uh, if, you're, if you have a minion that has overwhelm in the way, it will still do the overwhelm damage. But if it's a normal minion, uh, that will still remain blocked. Uh, it's his turn to attack. Let's just play our 6-6. Six, six. This also has Overwhelm. This is, um, gains 1 plus 1 for each minion that has died. Uh, this game. Meet them head on. For each friendly minion that has died this game. And this is Gargle the slow spell. Two Spiderlings again. Okay. He's hanging on in there. And right here, instead of playing a minion, I'm going to go right in for the attack. Because that means he can't play another unit onto the table. So he's forced to block with this. It's a spell. It's plus, it's one damage and summon a spiderling. I think he is. He can't hang on there and he's dead. There we go. So that's a quick look at uh, some of the basic stuff. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let me know and I can go into making a few uh, more advanced videos. Thank you.